Under the uh, International Maritime Organization and the STCW requirements, which were set by the United States Coast Guard, uh, everyone who goes to sea has to have a, a basic level of emergency training. Uh, and the MD310 class uh, meets that requirements and it's essentially uh, sort of an overview of emergency medicine uh, procedures and treatments for people uh, when they're at sea. The uh, MD311 class uh, is an elective but it offers an endorsement uh, on the license and again under the STCW and IMO requirements there are a specific set of skills and procedures that they learn how to do. Last fall uh, I went to the folks at Walder County uh, because I work there in the emergency department and said hey I've got this class that I'm teaching this is what the students are learning is there some way that we can come up with some kind of agreement so that they could have a clinical placement very similar to medical students, nursing students, paramedic students that kind of thing uh, because in fact that's what their training is it's the same most people don't think of Maine Maritime Academy as having any kind of medical anything uh, but in fact we do and these students get trained to <coughs> perform emergency medicine at sea. Based on the, the bit of research that I could do, no Maritime Academy in the United States has ever had a formal clinical placement uh, for the students who take the 311 class. Um, and the uniqueness of it is that now Maine Maritime Academy has a formal agreement with uh, Waldo County General Hospital and the students have an actual clinical placement where they're required to go uh, and to work alongside an emergency medical provider to learn uh, different conditions in patients, how to do evaluations of patients, uh, and again, how to treat these patients and perform certain procedures uh, which potentially could be life-saving when they're at sea. The procedures that they learn are actually quite advanced. Um, they learn everything from simple medication administration, here's two Tylenol for your headache, uh, to you're not breathing um, and you're unresponsive and I'm going to put a breathing tube in you. Uh, and that's what they learn how to do, that's called intubation. Uh, they also learn how to do peripheral IV placements, they learn how to place Foley catheters, uh, they learn suturing, um, simple wounds, I mean people, small accidents happen on ships all the time. And given the sort of hands-on component that these students have, the best way to teach them, I found, is to actually get them to do. Uh, and so again, sort of when you look back at the class, originally it was a lot of lectures, it's very little lecture that, uh, now, it's all lab, they come in, they're shown how to do something and then you know, they practice it on each other uh, <clears throat> and now they're practicing it in the emergency department with real patients.